Hi, I'm Mr Maths and today we'll be going through an AQA Functional Skills Level 2 Mathematics paper and this is the non-calculator paper. Things to remember. The exam is 30 minutes long. There are 20 points available for this exam. Remember to show all your working out. And don't panic. If you don't know the answer to a question, just move on. And then you should have time at the end of the exam to have a little go at it. Marks go towards both exams. A pass is 32 to 33 marks out of 80. So you don't have to get all of them on this paper. You can pick some up on the calculator paper. Question one. Here is a fair spinner. Circle the probability that the spinner lands on A. Now first of all, we have to count how many sections there are on the spinner. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have eight sections. Now we're going to count how many A's there are. So there's, just tick them off. One, two, three, four. So we have four A's. Now we're going to turn that into a fraction. So that's four over eight. Now four over eight is a half equals a half. And as a decimal, that is a 0 0.5. That's one more. Question two. Work out 2 cubed times 16 minus 4. So 2 cubed and 2 to the power of 3 equals this. Look, so 2 cubed equals 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 4 is 8, which equals 8. And the other part of the equation is 16 minus 4 equals 12. So we're left with 8 times 12. And if we now add times tables, that's 96. Question 3. Complete the table to show equivalent fractions, decimals, and percentages. Okay, so if you look at the first one here, we've got three-fifths, 0 0.6, and what is that as a percentage? Well, 0 0.6 is 60%. So we have 11 over 40. To work that out as a decimal, would be quite tricky but if we look at the percentage here 27.5% if we divide that by a hundred divided by a hundred we are going to get 0 0.275 and lastly there's 95% or 0 0.95, well, if it's 95%, we know it's 95 out of 100, so that's going to be 95 over 100. You could reduce this down by dividing the whole thing by 5, which would give you 19 over 20, but that's not really required. Question 4. Put the following numbers in order, starting with the largest. Now the reason for this question is to make sure that we understand how negative numbers works. So we'll start with the largest, which is 10. And then we go down to 8. And then 3. Let's just cross these off. Now the next largest number is minus 1. So the bigger the number on a negative number, the smaller it actually is. We get minus 4. Then we get minus 6. 
Question 5. Sally is planning a holiday. Sally will be going with her son, who is a child. The holiday will be for two weeks. She sees offers for two holidays. Now we've got Thailand, adult price £450 per week. The child price is 40% discount off adult price. And there's a special offer. Stay two weeks and get one sixth off the price. Or Hawaii, adult price £660 per week. Child price, 10% discount of full adult price. And the second week is free. Okay, so we're going to work this out here. So, so first thing we have to work out is the 40% discount off the adult price. This will give us the two weeks for the child first. So if we do it like this, so we do Thailand, so if 100% equals 450, then we divide it by 10 to get 10%, so 10% percent would equal we divide it by 50 it's going to be 45 but what we have to find is 40 percent now we've got 45 we're going to have to times that by four so we're going to times by four that's going to equal 180 so the two weeks are 450 plus 450 minus this 180 equals we can do 450 450 is 900 minus 180 I might do up here 900 minus 180 0 from 0 7 2 Seven, that's going to be an eight, but it's going to be a seven down here. That's it, 720. So that would equal 720. And then we're going to multiply that by two. And it's 1,440. So it's 1,440 so far, but we need to find one sixth of the total cost to get our discount. So we need to first, so we need to divide 1,440 by six. We could do a bus stop up here actually. Six is into one, can't do. Six is into fourteen, two, six is into twelve, remainder two. It's two. Remainder two. Six is into twenty-four, two, two, four. Six is zero, zero, so that's two hundred and forty. So one sixth equals two hundred and forty. So then we just minus that two hundred and forty off of one thousand. 440 minus it off. We get zero here. Four for four is zero. Two. So the total cost for that will be 1,200 for Thailand. 1,200. Now Hawaii is Adult price £660 per week, child price 10% discount off the adult price. So first of all, 10% of 660 let me just underline that, so first of all, 660 divided by 10 would give us our 10%, which would equal 66. 
then we'll take that 66 off of 660 so 660 minus 66 6 from 10 is 4, can't do that, so I'll make that a 5, make that a 1, 6 from 15 is 9, and we can find that 5, 9, 4. So 5, 9, 4 plus the 660, I'll we'll do it here. And that gives us a total of 1,254 for Hawaii. So the lowest priced holiday is Thailand. Question 5b. Sally could use the airport car park for 14 days. The total charge for parking is given by Charge equals £19.95 plus £12 times the number of days minus 1. Sally says the total charge would be more than £170. Is she correct? You must show you're working. So she's going for 14 days. So it will be 19 95 plus 12 times and it'll be 14 minus 1 which will be 13 right here so okay so now we have 19.95 plus 12 14 minus 1 equals 13 so if we know our 12 times table, we know 12 times 12 is 144, plus another 12, that's going to be 156. So now it will be 19.95 plus 156. All we do now is add this up, remembering where our decimal place would be. So we put that 19. 95 there, some placeholder zeros, we could add this up, 5, 9, 6 plus 9 is, well, don't forget to bring our decimal point down, 6 plus 9 is 15, 5, 6, 7, and my total is 175.95. Sally says the total charge will be more than 170. Is she correct? Yes, she is. So yes, she is correct. Well done. I've been Mr. Maths. Please like and subscribe.